Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. We're gonna check out this new Gold Shell Bite. It's a customizable home miner like nothing you've ever seen before. Transparency Report, Gold Shell gave me this miner at Mining Disrupt this year, but they don't get to see this video before I post it. They don't get to tell me what to say in this video. All the opinions and stuff were all my own. They gave me this miner and said, hey, could you make a video for us? And I said, sure. Let's get started. Let's unbox this thing, Gold Shell Bite. Here we go. Top is off. And then inside here, here's a protective packaging. I'll move that, and there it is. Right inside, right away. It is so cute. I guess the cards are already installed inside of it. Let's take a look. So there it is, gold shell bite. There's the front, the other side, and then yeah, there's the cards in there. Let's figure out, how do these come out? Okay, so you just unlatch it there, and then it slides right out. And then right here, we're looking at the AE card. So this is the Alio card. And then what's this one? Let's take this out. We'll take a look. And this is the Doge card. So check these out. They're just kind of like little hard drives, almost is how I would think about them. I mean, they have the fans installed within the cards themselves. So they have the cooling ready to go. So the case, the chassis is just, it's just empty. That's just where you would put in uh, the power, which by the way, if you want to take a look at the power supply uh, that Gold Shell provides just for this miner, here it is, connects right over to that USB-C port in the back. But let's test, how do these go back in? I think, do I have this right? I think so. Slides in, push, latch, that's really, <laughs> that's really satisfying. Push in, latch, there it is. Little Gold Shell bite. All right, let's keep going. Bytes plugged into power, got it into the meter box here so we can measure its wattage for the rest of this video. Next thing we gotta do is get it connected to our local Wi-Fi network. So right now it's broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network that you wanna connect to on your computer or your smartphone. I'm gonna do it on my smartphone right here. You can see Gold Shell Byte is the network. And now I gotta head over to the browser and enter in a very specific IP address, which is 192.168.77.1. That's gonna connect me right to the dashboard for this miner. And what I wanna do is head down here to system and then go down and find on the uh, wireless LAN your wireless network. So mine is this one here. I'm gonna connect and enter the password. Now that I've done that, the miner is gonna drop its own wireless network and connect directly to my home network so I can finish this up over on the computer. Next, what we're gonna do is go to find.goldshell.com and it's gonna find any of the Gold Shell miners on your IP address. So here's the Gold Shell byte. We're gonna click this little settings gear and it's gonna bring us directly to the dashboard for this miner. You can see both cards are recognized in each slot. We're gonna go down to Miner Explorer a little bit further. Uh, there's the pool settings, which I have to set up in a second here. Both cards are there, but looking like there's only one high power mode. I don't know if I'm missing something there. Can't seem to adjust it. And then here's the system information, IP address if you want a static one, and, and everything else here. But what we gotta do now, I'm gonna go find some pools, get this set up so we can get it mining. LTC first, and I mine over to F2 pool right now. So let's go get the stratum for North America from there. And then I'm just gonna copy that in. Then my miner name, uh, I gotta do my username at the pool first, which is Red Fox Crypto. And then the miner name, we're just gonna call this all caps byte. So I know what worker is what, and then password one, two, three. So I'm gonna apply that. And then next I'm gonna do alio, which I mine over to ZK work, which is a little bit different. So the first thing I need is the stratum for A6 for alio, and they have it on their main page right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that in. And then the next thing I need is the miner name, which they use APIs, which I've already created, which is down here. So I'm gonna grab this API token and I'm gonna put that into the miner name. And then same thing with the password, one, two, three, and we'll hit apply and then just give this a second so it can start mining. Over on Gold Shell's website, let's check in on the marketed performance versus what I'm getting with the miner that I have right now. So on goldshell.com for the byte, it says that the Alio card should be doing 5.5 mega hash per second, 465 watts, and the Doge card should be doing 80 mega hash per second for again 65 watts. So let's look at that wattage first. So that means in total, I should be doing about 130 watts 
for this entire bite. And the meter says I'm doing just about that. I'm doing 128 watts right now. So really accurate. And let's check in on how each card in there is currently performing. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to Gold Shell's uh, Bytes dashboard and look at that Doge card, which is currently doing 82 mega hash. We're doing better right now than the advertised 80 mega hash. And the AE card is right about there. It says 5.5 mega hash is currently doing 5.4. But the ZK algorithm that Elio uses fluctuates quite a bit, uh, both down and up. So I imagine as time goes on, it will hit that mark based on what I'm seeing right now. There's the miners over on F2 pool. You can see the byte right there has connected. And then on ZK work, you can see I have one worker online uh, now with the byte connected. So looking really good. The advertised numbers are real. The advertised hash rates and wattage are to be believed. And so that brings us to like, what are my thoughts on this little, cute, adorable gold shell byte? I really love this thing. I think it's super cool. It's actually kind of endearing in a way. And I actually wish you could see people's faces at Mining Disrupt this year. They walked up to this and they just saw it and they took out a cartridge and put it back in and they just lit up with like joy on their face because of how cool of a little unit it is. And I really do like it. And I've been thinking a lot about like who it's for, like who I would recommend the Gold Shell Bite for. And I think it's for the cryptocurrency mining beginner, maybe the person that either doesn't have a GPU or they don't want to mine with their GPU. And you might say, well, Mike, they should get like one of those little Bitcoin miners they can sit on their desks that are really low, low power and, and really quiet. And I would agree, they should definitely do that. But like when you're ready to take the next step from that, I think this is where you go. Because this gets you deeper into cryptocurrency and exploring alternative cryptocurrencies, which is something that I did when I got started. And right in this one little box, you get to do many cryptocurrencies. You get Alio, a newer crypto, and then you get Litecoin and Dogecoin and all the merge mining coins with the script card, the Doge mining card that's in here. I think that that is really cool to just get somebody exploring cryptocurrency a little bit deeper than maybe they had before. You know, I, I do think there is a big con to this, though, and that is you're buying into Gold Shell's ecosystem with the promise that they're going to continue to support this Gold Shell Byte for many years to come with additional cartridges to mine other cryptocurrencies. And they say they are. They say they're going to do that. And I, I hope they keep their word. I really do, because it is something really special. But you're definitely buying into their ecosystem. So definitely consider that if you're thinking about buying one of these. And if you do want to buy one, well, the best place to do that is by clicking my link down in the video description and the pinned comment. And where that's going to bring you is right here to Gold Shell's website. And I would strongly recommend if you get one of these to get the exact configuration that I have right here, which is going to be the Doge card and then the AE card to mine Elio and then the charger as well. And then if you do add that to cart i have a promo code i don't know how long it's going to last for but we're going to head over to the cart here i'm going to show you how to save some money so the code you're going to enter on that exact configuration is going to be gs bite 20 and when you apply that coupon it's going to save you 20 dollars off of this exact configuration if you want to maybe get the two alio cards instead i have another special promo code to save you a little bit more sense, well, that's a more expensive unit. If you made it this far in the video, well, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate your support all along the journey here. And what I would love for you to do is leave a comment down below who you would recommend this Gold Shell Bite for. And if you do that, within a week of this video posting, I'm gonna pick a random comment, respond back to you, and I'm gonna send you the Doge hash rate from this bite to your address for one week to have some fun with. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some other home miners that I think are just wonderful, I'll leave them in the videos that you see on the screen here for you to check out. But as always, please take care of yourself and each other, and I'm going to see you in the next video.